Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Monday the 19th of July 2021. And I can't help just doing a quick scan behind me. I'm thinking, have I left anything bad out? Have I left anything bad out? I don't think I have. I don't think so. Um, well, you can see there just by the kettle, black currant Jaffa cakes. I know. Now, Jaffa cakes, for those of you that don't know what Jaffa cakes are, and I'm sure loads of you do know what they are, are kind of like biscuits with marmalade and chocolate. They are very good, but those ones are black currant and chocolate. Mm. We have a fruit bowl right here. We've got bananas. We've got limes and some pretty ancient lemons. Oh, yes. It's like packed lunch box here. <laughs> it's all going on on the table in the kitchen. So welcome, 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 welcome to Gemstone Tarot. And we are using, what was this called? See, that's the thing. I've got, I've taken the smelly or the magic, whichever way you want to call it, tarot box, and I've put it right next to me on a chair. But I can't see my stack of boxes. Might be the cook's tarot. Really hope it is. Okay, we're using that one anyway. Slightly big cards. Kind of going to have to shuffle them in a bit of a let them fall down motion rather than a proper big girl shuffle. These went down really well, if you pardon the pun last time. Oof. So here we go. Oh, yeah, we'll have that one. <laughs> Ooh. God, how often has that Eight of Cups come up for us recently? without action which is weird reminds me of a Wayne Dyer thing I listened to um, the, the late great Wayne Dyer and I think I have said this before but he was saying his son had a t-shirt that said don't just do something stand there and it stuck with me because yeah the value of that I think the value of don't do something stand there is often ignored in our society as an overall energy card, we've got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So if we look at this in the upright, which is Sun in Virgo, we have a somebody making pastry. I think they're making pastry. I can actually do that. Pastry and bread are the things I can make and cakes. I know. Um, somebody is industrious. You can see here there's loads and loads of pies. So they are a baker effectively, you know, maybe they've got a, an artisan business making pies, I don't know. Things, you know, things are weird at the moment. Not that it's weird to have an artisan bakery business making pies, it's rather good. So this person's rolling out the pastry and when you get the eight of pentacles, it's an eight card. So it's like, I do this, I do that, I get up, I knock out these pies or I make these tables or I click this nut on a car or I clean these windows or whatever we do for a living, that keeps going. It's like I get up, I do it, I go home. I get up, I do it, I go home. It can be a nice rhythm. It can be a trap, you know. When you've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and it feels like for me that people are, you may be reconsidering what you're doing either for a living or the way you're doing stuff in general or the way you're dealing with a situation or a job or it could be a relationship, you are keen, you're keen to test the boundaries and to maybe see if there's more on the other side. You know, sometimes, and I don't know if, you know, you feel like your life is a bit of an episode of The Truman Show, isn't it? You think, when is someone gonna tell me it was all a joke? and they've been watching the whole time, you know? The worrying thing, the probably more worrying thought is if no one's watching. <laughs> We're getting a bit deeply philosophical in the kitchen. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
looking at the status quo and thinking there could be more there could be more we have another eight the eight of cups the exit card so someone and you know why not a load of washing up they just say <laughs> screw you guys i'm going home isn't it it's just cheers then um somebody else can deal with that or is that the door <laughs> Eight of Cups, like the Eight of Pentacles, so the Eight of Pentacles is industry doing stuff. Eight of Cups is using my feet to walk away from a messy or a no longer needed emotional feeling or situation about something. I've had it, I'm done, I'm off ski, okay? I'm off ski. Before the Eight of Cups, and I was doing this just last night, chopping spring onions. I know. Do you call them scallions in America? I need to know because as you know, I'm a big fan of Pioneer Woman and I watch her doing her stuff on the ranch and she's always calling them scallions. Does that mean spring onions? Let me know in the comments section. Anyway, big cleaver, chopping the spring onions, knight of swords. Some information comes in and it could be like full on information from an email or a kind of a missive of some kind or a conversation that you have or it can literally be an aha moment which leads to screw you guys i'm going home okay can you see there's a link first of all i'm not sure about flogging my guts out for this or i'm not sure about continuing down this path if we wanted to put it more elegantly actually now i know this information <laughs> i'm off ski Mind you, we then get strength in the reverse. I'm just trying to see what it is in the upright because these cards are quite Picasso-y, aren't they, these cards? And I like that. I don't really understand that particular card. I understand the strength card. Anyway, when you got strength in the reverse, whichever the deck, you are flight of foot but you don't necessarily have the energy you know this the the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak as they say you feel like um making a break for it but physically you're not there with it you might be tired you know sometimes there's a reason why we just keep knocking out the pies and it's because we haven't got the creativity or the headspace or what people call the bandwidth to do anything else just yet okay then we've got the King of Pentacles, I love this. How cool is that? And the dog, there's often a dog with the King of Pentacles. He's in the reverse. Security and stability becomes less of a draw. So you may have been thinking, I've hung in here for this, I've hung in here for that, I've hung in here so I could pay my rent, I've hung in here so I could do that. Now I've paid that off or now I've now I feel differently. I just don't feel like I need to stay for X, Y, and Z reason that I had before, okay? And in the middle, the Hermit. Now this could be the feeling of lockdown because the Hermit is my lockdown card, but also with this, there's a very strong draw to stay put at the same time. The energy in the card that isn't here that I'm kind of feeling is the Chariot want to go this way, want to go that way, want to stay, want to go, want to stay, want to go. Now, in my general experience, and it is just one person's experience, when you feel this way, it's a restlessness that means you're going to go somewhere. You're going to do something different. You just haven't quite, you haven't quite had the right set of circumstances to just light the rocket where you go, and now I'm off. And that's okay, and there may be a reason why there's a certain lethargicness, if that's even a word about it. And then over here, <laughs> we got this Ten of Wands. It's an excellent Ten of Wands, isn't it? You've got this overwhelmed person carrying all this stuff, okay? In the reverse, she's going to drop it. What needs to happen to release the strength, to release the energy, is that you reach a point of surrender. And usually it's when it's um, too painful not to change, isn't it? Anaisenin, and I can never say that word right, becomes too painful to stay the same. That's what it is. And at the bottom, with this in mind, we have the hanged man in reverse. 
when you get the hanged man in reverse, know that there is momentum. You know, it's that feeling of taking your foot off the brake. It's like, and we're off, you know? So in some senses, you've already gone. You've already left this scenario. It's the rest of it is just details. I'm waiting for your physical strength. And for some of you with the King of Pentacles, financial capability to just be on point so that you can carry out what you want. Sorry about that, that gurgle is the dishwasher. Weird, there you go, it's beeping. Does yours do that? You know, before I had this kitchen sorted out, everything had been here about 100 years and it was all held together by grease, I think. And now I've had like modern devices put in. They beep at you all the time, like they're talking to you. See, I know that the dishwasher finished. I emptied it, I was being good but now it's gonna beep at me incessantly. Also the oven, the oven beeps at me and so does the washing machine. And sometimes it's just a cacophony of beeping. Tell me your experiences of that. Anyway, we get the fates. Sometimes with the fates, it's literally finding the strength to believe in your own decision-making process. It won't be particularly conventional, okay? Go with that. You're on the right track with this and things will fall into place, okay? But whatever you were managing to do before because it felt safe and okay and maybe a bit numb, it's probably not gonna be okay for you in the future. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.